The California State Water Project starts its journey in the peaks of the Sierra Nevada Mountains in Northern California, where most of California's rain and snow fall each year. The three Upper Feather River lakes, Antelope, Frenchman, and Davis, sit at the top of the State Water Project. Antelope Lake, which is the smallest of the Upper Feather River lakes, is located on Indian Creek a tributary of the east branch of the North Fork Feather River. To the southeast is Frenchman Lake, the first lake created for the SWP in 1961, which consists of 21 miles of shoreline and a 139-foot tall earthen dam. Lake Davis is located on Big Grizzly Creek, a tributary of the Middle Fork Feather River. It is the largest of the three lakes with a capacity of more than 84,000 acre feet. The upper Feather River lakes feed into the north and middle forks of the Feather River, which wind their way through Plumas County, providing local water supply along the way. Along the middle fork of the Feather River, the fresh water cascades over Feather Falls, a picturesque recreation destination. The forks of the Feather River feed into Lake Oroville, which is contained by Oroville Dam, the tallest dam in the United States at 770 feet. Constructed in the 1960s, Lake Oroville is the second largest reservoir in California and can store more than three and a half million acre feet of water. In addition to Oroville Dam, the Oroville Thermalito Complex includes three power plants, Hyatt, Thermalito Diversion Dam, and Thermalito Pumping Generating Power Plant, which together can produce 835 megawatts of electricity, enough clean hydropower to power 1.6 million homes for a year. While its primary purposes are water supply, hydroelectricity generation, and flood control, Lake Oroville also offers a variety of recreation opportunities. Water continues from Lake Oroville down the Feather River until it meets up with the Sacramento River in southern Sutter County, just north of Sacramento. From there, the water heads south along the Sacramento River, winding its way through the farmlands of the northern Sacramento Valley, through downtown Sacramento, and into California's Sacramento-San Joaquin Delta. Once in the Delta, water is diverted to different parts of the state. The Cordelia Pumping Plant in Solano County is part of the North Bay Aqueduct System, which provides water to cities in Napa and Solano counties. Water is pumped from the Delta at Barker Slough Pumping Plant and travels over 27 miles in an underground pipeline to its storage terminus in the city of Napa. Further south, water from the Delta is moved to the Clifton Court Forebay in Contra Costa County. This shallow reservoir sits at the southern end of the Delta and provides storage and flow regulation into the Banks Pumping Plant. At Banks Pumping Plant, water is pumped up a hillside 244 feet to start its journey south along the 444-mile-long California Aqueduct. The plant includes 11 pumps to move water into the canal and divert water during wet months to off-stream storage reservoirs and groundwater basins south of the Delta to improve water supply reliability. Just a mile downstream from the bank's pumping plant, Bethany Reservoir marks the beginning of the South Bay Aqueduct. Here, the South Bay Pumping Plant moves water to the west to serve communities in Alameda and Santa Clara counties. Along the way, Lake Del Val in Alameda County provides storage and flood control for the South Bay Aqueduct. Back in the Central Valley, the California Aqueduct stretches south through hundreds of miles of farmland and towns. The Aqueduct is the most recognized facility in the State Water Project. It is the primary method for transporting water from Northern California to Southern California. The concrete-lined canal winds its way through the valley, and travelers along Interstate 5 can see the glistening waters of the canal. The California Aqueduct moves water by gravity with a little help from pumping plants along the way. 
Along the western side of the Central Valley in Merced County, the California Aqueduct enters O'Neill Four Bay. This body of water is part of the larger San Luis Reservoir Joint Use Complex that serves both the State Water Project and the Federal Central Valley Project. San Luis Reservoir is the nation's largest off-stream reservoir. The reservoir stores water diverted from the Sacramento-San Joaquin Delta for later deliveries to the South Bay Area, Central Valley, Central Coast, and Southern California. Overlooking San Luis Reservoir is the Romero Visitor Center. Romero offers exhibits and videos that highlight California's world-renowned water delivery system and the importance of water in our lives, along with impressive views of the reservoir. With no watershed to support San Luis, the Gianelli Pumping Generating Plant moves water from the O'Neill Bay into San Luis Reservoir. The plant generates electricity when water flows are reversed. To the south of San Luis, the Dos Amigos Pumping Plant gives water a 113-foot lift as it continues along the California Aqueduct. Further south is another important branch of the California Aqueduct. The Coastal Branch Aqueduct provides water for San Luis Obispo and Santa Barbara counties. Water travels through the Coastal Branch Aqueduct to several pumping plants and ends near Vandenberg Air Force Base. Back on the main aqueduct, Buena Vista Pumping Plant, located south of Bakersfield in Kern County, sends the water on the next leg of its journey. The plant is the first in a series of lifts known as the Valley String Pumping Plants. Here, water is sent up 205 feet. Just a few miles down the aqueduct is T-Rink Pumping Plant. This facility provides the second lift, moving water up another 233 feet. Just a little further downstream, Chrisman Pumping Plant provides another lift. Here, State Water Project water is lifted 518 feet for its journey over the Tehachapi Mountains, courtesy of the Edmonston Pumping Plant. Now it's time for the big lift. Considered one of California's engineering marvels, Edmonston Pumping Plant uses 14 80,000 horsepower pumps to lift water 1,926 feet over the Tehachapi Mountains. The plant is the highest single-lift pumping plant in the world. From there, water flows through a series of tunnels into the Tehachapi After Bay, where the aqueduct divides into the West Branch and East Branch of the California Aqueduct. The West Branch of the State Water Project moves water to millions of Californians in Los Angeles and other cities in Southern California. Oso Pumping Plant is the first major structure on the west branch of the California Aqueduct. It lifts water 231 feet from Tehachapi After Bay to Quail Canal, which leads into Quail Lake. From Quail Lake, State Water Project water travels to Pyramid Lake in Los Angeles County. Visible from Interstate 5, Pyramid Lake provides storage for deliveries from the west branch and recreational opportunities. The lake is contained by the 400-foot-tall Pyramid Dam at the southern end of the lake. Pyramid Lake is also home to the Vista del Lago Visitor Center, which offers exhibits on the State Water Project and stunning views of the lake. Further south, Castaic Lake serves as the terminus of the West Branch. The lake provides storage for the State Water Project as well as recreation opportunities in the Southern California area. The lake is contained by the 425-foot-tall Castaic Dam. Back at the junction, the east branch of the State Water Project moves water through the Antelope Valley to communities like Riverside and San Bernardino. The water is used by residents as well as groundwater recharge. Pear Blossom Pumping Plant is located along the east branch of the California Aqueduct, about 12 miles east of the town of Palmdale. The plant lifts water about 540 feet to continue its journey southeast by gravity to Silverwood Lake. The newest state water project power plant, the Mojave Siphon Power Plant, completed in 1996, generates electricity from the water flowing back downhill on its way to Silverwood Lake. Cedar Springs Dam 
a 249-foot-tall earthen dam creates Silverwood Lake, located about 30 miles north of the city of San Bernardino. The lake provides regulatory and emergency storage, ensuring deliveries to users along the East Branch, and provides recreation for local communities. Silverwood Lake also serves to ensure continuity of discharges through the Devil Canyon Power Plant. Devil Canyon Power Plant is situated at the southern base of the San Bernardino Mountains, about five miles north of San Bernardino. The power plant generates electricity from water traveling through the plant from Silverwood Lake. From Devil Canyon, water is moved along the East Branch Extension to Crafton Hills Reservoir. This reservoir provides additional storage and water supply for the east side of San Bernardino County. Back on the main segment of the East Branch Aqueduct, Lake Paris in Riverside County marks the end of the line. It is the southernmost state water project reservoir and provides water supply and recreation. It's one of the most popular recreational lakes in the state water project system. From the headwaters of the Feather River watershed to the reservoirs of Southern California, DWR's state water project provides critical water supply to millions of Californians thanks to world-class engineering and some help from Mother Nature. DWR is committed to ensuring the system continues to operate safely and efficiently for generations to come.